Hello everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and this will be the second trailer for The Matrix Resurrections. Now I'm pretty much sure you're all well aware of what this is but just in case anybody who doesn't know, The Matrix Resurrections is the fourth film within the franchise following the groundbreaking original in 1999, shortly followed by The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions, both released in 2003. Now The Matrix Resurrections is due for wide release in both cinemas and HBO Max streaming on December the 22nd, 2021. And you can check out my review of the first trailer within this channel and I will leave the link within the description. Now overall, I thought the first trailer looked very good visually, but it seemed to be just a repeat of the same narrative that we indeed saw from the first original film. Essentially, we're dealing with the story where it seems that Neo is trapped again in the Matrix and he's rediscovering what's reality and what's the actual fabricated reality set by the machines in many sense. We get various references to the red pill and the blue pill as what we saw for the first film of course and also we see the scenes where he's meeting trinity for the first time they don't know who each other are we get various references in terms of what is reality we have the various scenes where we see morbius training with neo just like what we saw in the original film and also we get the various backgrounds of it seems the zion background if you remember from the original films where we have the sentinels emerging as well so there were a lot of traits and references to the original film itself so i just worry that this may be just a beat for beat recreation of what's gone on before rather than anything fresh or new but in terms of this second trailer itself i think overall it didn't leave me any more convinced than what i was with the first trailer again we had lots of action lots of very good visual shots and certainly in the first part of this trailer, we were mixing in montages of old scenes from the original films with newer scenes from this movie. It also seems that we will be getting a lot of the same characters, but being replaced by younger and fresher actors. And this is very evident from the opening couple of scenes within this trailer, where we saw it seems like we're getting the replacement of the Agent Smith, this time playing by actor Jonathan Groff, it seems. And we see him re-quoting the lines spoken by Hugo Weaving. And I know a lot of fans would be very disappointed that Hugo Weaving isn't going to be reprising his role as Agent Smith, but I think this was due to scheduling conflicts, as were we also disappointed with the fact that Lawrence Fishburne wouldn't be returning as Morbius either. But this scene alone, when he's requoting the lines, like I said, is very much in tune with the direction I think that they're taking with this overall film. We then get another striking visual shot where it looks like we're in the outside world where we see the spaceships bearing down and it seems that there's loads of people in the red people pods. Now I assume this is when the, everybody is trapped in the actual matrix reality and this is again the machines I guess keeping everybody in check. One of the standout scenes within this second trailer was seeing Neo reunite with Naomi who was played by Jada Pinkett Smith if you remember she was very prominent in both Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revolutions and if you notice on the scene here we see that Neo has his shaven head and without the beard now if you have been covering this film a lot of what people noticed when we saw the first footage of the Matrix Resurrections is that Keanu Reeves very much had the same look as what he did with the John wick films you know the long hair and the sunglasses and the beard as well and many people said well this is he doesn't look like neo now of course the reason was for this was because he was filming john wick 4 around the same time as matrix resurrection so he couldn't change his look so i'm guessing that this might have been a scene that was filmed afterwards the fact that he's having shaven head and he's shaven beard as well we then see jada pinkett smith's character neobi and she's much more old and aged here now i'm just wondering is she going to be the de facto oracle as what we saw from the original films where basically she's going to be guiding neo and essentially telling him what's real and what's not and what's his overall role is will we get any other characters coming back from the original films as well i'm pretty much sure there'll be one or two surprises but overall i thought jada pinkett smith was very good in the matrix red loaded and revolutions so it's good to see her coming back in this overall form we again get this next shot here where we see the actor jonathan growth again playing the agent smith role it seems he quotes the very iconic line Mr Anderson I wasn't very convinced by this line to be honest and I just wish they were actually just going for another agent if you couldn't get Hugo Weaver in the role then why just recreate his character why not create a new agent I'm not sure how well this will go down with fans in terms of his overall performance we also get some very freaky scenes where we see Neo being assimilated here by the machines now I'm not sure whether this will be a flashback towards revolutions if you remember at the end of revolutions Neo strikes a deal with the machines to give up his life in order to take down Agent Smith so is this them now resuscitating or resurrecting Neo as per the title here in order to get him to be rebooted into the matrix so again very stunning visual scenes here 
we get some more scenes where we see trinity here trapped by the tentacles as well if you remember she also died when they crash landed back into the sentinel base from matrix revolution so it's unclear as to why they need to resuscitate trinity will her role be key in many ways to convince neo or to revive neo and because he obviously has that love connection with her so maybe they'll be using her in that sense to try and revive neo but some other cool shots here where we see it looks like trinity again very much in the resuscitating pods on here so very stylish very good again very reminiscent of what we saw with the first film and as I mentioned in the first trailer, there seems to be a lot more in terms of colour this time around. If you remember from the original films, we had very much of that faded green contrast and template. So at least they're trying to go for something different in terms of the aesthetics and the look of this film. The other notable standout scene was the emergence of this character here played by Piranka Chopra Jones. And I believe she's playing a character called Saiti. Now, Saiti, I believe, is an XR program created without any purpose and she's originally going to meet up with neo towards the end of the machine war so again i'm not really sure how well her role plays apparently she's a character that was played by somebody else within the matrix revolution so hopefully she'll be very pivotal to the story overall and i'm sure we'll find out more about her character when we arrive to the overall film itself so those are really the main standout moments that i saw from this second trailer coupled a lot with the first trailer now i haven't really talked extensively about this second trailer because a lot of what we saw this time around we had already seen in the first trailer in terms of the action sequences which seemed very good as well i think the standout scene is likely going to be that train sequence where we see jessa henwick and morpheus on the train and they're throwing people out from it and we see lots of explosions and also we get those good stand-up scenes as well where we see neo standing at the top of the skyscrapers leaping off with trinity as well so there's going to be lots of visual cues and references to the first film overall so in terms of this trailer i think it was still good it still looked visually very appealing there was nothing there to really get me even more hyped or amped up as what i was with the first trailer overall so i suppose in terms of this film my only concern is that it's generally going to repeat the same things that what we saw with the first film and I think if you're going to do these sequels or reboots or reimaginings you need to give us more don't just give us the same story that what we've seen already I've commented previously that I would have preferred to have any continuation with brand new characters and brand new narrative but I understand this is the way that franchises are built now where we have to bring back the iconic actors of the franchise because the studios are too scared to try new actors and new characters so I get that it's just the way it is sometimes but hopefully the matrix resurrections can be at the very least an improvement of both revolutions and matrix reloaded and come somewhere close to matching the original excitement and verb and imagination of the first film when it's released so those are my overall thoughts and feelings on the second trailer of the matrix resurrections let me know what you think in the comments below how well do you think this will compare to the previous three films do you think it will be another failure or do you think it could come somewhere close to matching the original quality of the first film let me know what you think in the comments below and of course when the film is released I will be providing both a non-spoiler and spoiler review of the film itself so keep an eye out for that when the film comes to us on December the 22nd. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future but that's it for now take care of yourselves stay safe distances and I will see you very very soon.